The rumors are true. You can totally pay your child's age at Build-A-Bear. Keep watching to find out how I scored this little teddy for Aubrey's third birthday for only three bucks. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I am going to be sharing how I got Aubrey a $3 Build-A-Bear for her birthday. Months ago, I heard about this deal somewhere online where if you bring your child into Build-A-Bear during the month of their birthday, you can get a bear for the age that they are turning. Then recently, as I was scrolling through TikTok, someone mentioned the deal again, and I thought I just had to finally look into it since Aubrey's birthday month is this month. The deal is called Count My Candles. On their website, they have a bunch of frequently asked questions that will hopefully cover anything I miss in this video. But honestly, the process was super easy. The only thing you have to make sure to do before walking in and getting your discounted bear is sign up for their Build-A-Bear Bonus Club. Signing up is free to do. You just need to enter some basic information like your name, email, phone number, and birthday. I also added Aubrey's birthday information under the Bonus Club Birthdays tab, just in case, even though online it said that the step was not necessary. The only other thing I did to prepare for our little outing was call our nearest Build-A-Bear to make sure that they had the birthday bear in stock. Originally, I thought you could pick any bear in store, but that is not the case. There is a designated bear that they give out that is normally priced at about $14. So obviously this deal is for kids turning 13 years old or younger. But anyways, that was all I did to prepare for Aubrey's birthday outing, which I did the night before heading out to the ball. The next day, Aubrey and I took our little trip to our nearest Build-A-Bear. I really don't remember the last time we went to the mall together, so it kind of felt like a first for us. She held my hand for almost the entire walk through the mall and admired the reflections on the floor and even went on an escalator for the first time. Let's go. Let's step up. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> wow, okay, get, get your feet on it. Wow, you're a big girl. We're going up the escalator. Look at mommy and smile. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to step up. Mommy's gonna pick you up, okay? Okay, hey, hold mommy's hand. Was that fun? Yeah, come on. She was a little caught off guard at first, but I think she really enjoyed the little ride. Then we arrived at the store and were greeted by a helpful worker. She directed us to the birthday bear, which was unstuffed, and we had Aubrey go and put it on this little podium that they had. The lady then asked if Aubrey would like a sticker and a birthday hat. We accepted both, but Aubrey didn't warm up to the hat until later. Then the lady asked how we wanted the bear stuffed, if we wanted him stuffed firm or soft. After the bear was stuffed, we were able to choose what type of heart would go inside the stuffed animal. Throughout every stage, there were obviously upgrades that we could have chosen. I decided to go with the bare minimum, pun intended. For this deal, the standard heart is a little birthday heart with candles on it. We could have chosen a heart that makes beating sounds, and we could have chosen a scent to put inside the bear before the stitching was tightened. Aubrey was then asked to rub the heart and squish it as part of a little routine that they always do in the store. Unfortunately, Aubrey can be a bit shy around strangers, and she wasn't too into this process. But then her teddy bear was all stitched up, and normally it would have been time to shop around for accessories. But like I mentioned, I was just looking to get the $3 deal. So we headed straight to the bear's birth certificate monitor and filled out the necessary information on the screen after scanning our bear's barcode. Aubrey seemed pretty satisfied with her newly stuffed teddy, and we headed to the checkout. Here is where you will need to provide either your email, which is what I had to do, or your account number. I found it odd that I didn't need to provide proof of her birthday, like her birth certificate, but I was thankful at the same time. I was also relieved to see that the price did come out to $3 plus tax. I'm bummed I didn't give this a try when she turned one, but hey, maybe I'll go with Jack in a year. After checking out, we headed on over to the food court for a Cinnabon. 
Growing up, my siblings and I would go to the same mall with my mom and enjoy the same treat. So I thought it was fitting to do the same with my little girl. Overall, I think she really enjoyed this little birthday outing. If you have little ones who love stuffed animals, this is a great deal to take advantage of. Hopefully the company won't change their policy, but just in case, double check that Count Your Candles is still offered online when you are signing up to be a bonus club member. I hope you found this video helpful, educational, and entertaining. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss Aubrey's construction themed party prep video. Have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.